Hey guys, welcome to Technology. This is Rohit Sharma, and in this video, we are going to understand the concept of KCL and KVL related to network theory. And this concept and this concept and uh, will be used in each and every electronics uh, electronic subjects, whether it is analog, whether it is uh, basic electronics, digital electronics, communication system, everywhere. Okay. Uh, so this concept is very important. Therefore, I am making this video for you. Now, first of all, we will see the KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law. What is Kirchhoff's uh, current law states? It states that the algebraic sum of currents entering a node is zero. Suppose this is my node and these are the branches attached to this node. Okay, I have said the current entering or leaving the node, the sum of these uh, these current will be equal to zero. Therefore, I am taking as this I one, I two, I three, I four. They have said that I one plus I two plus I three plus I four will be equal to zero. Mathematically, if we have to express KCL, then we can say summation of n equal to one to n uh, for I n is equal to zero. Like, or we can say I one plus I two plus I three so n up to I n is equal to zero. Like this, where n is the number of branches connected to the node. These are the branches, and I n is the nth current entering the node. Okay, or leaving the node. By this law, current entering a node may be regarded as positive. Current entering we can take an as positive or we can also take as negative or current leave it we can take an as uh, take as positive or negative this this is up to us how how we are writing our kcl equation suppose we are taking an example here in this by default i am taking the current leaving in the node as positive okay and the current entering the node as negative. So here, let's see the currents which are leaving the node. I two is leaving the node and I five is leading leaving the node. Therefore, I two plus I four will be in positive. Plus I three, I four, and I five are entering the node. That therefore they will be in negative. That is minus i1 minus i4 minus i5 is equal to 0 because the algebraic sum of current in a KCL will be equal to 0. Therefore, I can also write this as i2 plus i5 is equal to i1 plus i4 plus i3. And we can say that the current entering the node is equal to the current leaving the node. Okay. This is how we can prove our KCL. That is Kirchhoff's current law. Now we will come to Kirchhoff voltage law that is KVL. What does Kirchhoff voltage law states? It states that the algebraic sum of all voltages around a closed path. Suppose this is our path. These are two. These are three resistance I have taken here, and this is a voltage source that is plus minus V S. These are the voltages V one, V two, V three. I can write this as V S is equal to V one plus V two plus V three, or I can also write this as minus V S plus V one. Plus V2 plus V3 is equal to 0 because the algebraic sum of all the voltage in a closed path is 0. Therefore, this equation is satisfied here. And this is how we can verify our KVL equation. Now, now let's take an example for this. Suppose, always remember if we are going from minus to plus, minus to plus, by default, I am taking this as negative. And if we are going to plus to minus, we are taking it as positive. You can take it, uh, take this as vice versa also. Okay, vice versa. Now I can write this minus v1 plus v2 plus v3. This is minus 2 plus, then minus v4 plus v5. Okay, we have apply in this loop that is i. Okay, therefore now I can write this, which is equal to zero, and also I can write v2 plus v3 is equal to v1. Sorry, V2 plus V3 plus V5 is equal to V1 plus V4. Okay. V1 plus V4. This is KVL is verified. Now, we will do some questions based upon KCL and KVL in our other slides. First question number one. For the circuit in figure, find voltage V1 and V2. Okay. You know that the current flowing through this circuit is I. Therefore, I can write V1 is equal to 2I and V2 is equal to 3I. And also... If now applying KVL in this minus 20 plus 2i 
plus 3i because v1 is 2i and v2 is 3i. 3i is equal to 0. Therefore, 2i plus 3i is equal to 20 and i is equal to 20 upon 5 that is equal to 4. 4 ampere the current is coming out to be 4 ampere. Now v1 is equal to 20, 2i that is 2 into 4 which is equal to 8 volt and v2 is equal to 3 into i that is equal to 3 into 4 12 volt. This is how we can calculate our voltage v1 and v2. Also we can calculate this by applying voltage divider rule. Now I am redrawing the circuit here. This is 2 ohm, this is 3 ohm, this is V1, V2 and here voltage source is around 20 volt. If we want to find V2, okay, now the V2 is across the resistance 3 ohm, therefore I am taking here resistance 3 ohm. Total resistance of the circuit is 2 plus 3, 5 and the voltage source is 20 volt. This is how we can find the voltage V2 by voltage divided rule 5, 4 is the 20, therefore for the 12 volt. Here also V2 is coming as 12 volt. Now for V1, the voltage across V1 is, uh, 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 the resistance across V1 is 2 ohm, 2 upon 5 into 20, 5, 4. Here also we are coming with the same answer by applying voltage dividing formula. Okay, voltage dividing formula. This is how we can apply KVL in any, any equation or any circuit. Question number two that is determining V0 and I in the circuit shown in the figure below. Okay, now I am applying KVL in this in this circuit minus 12 plus 4I plus 2V0 plus 2V0 minus 4 plus 6I is equal to 0. This is how we have applied KVL in this circuit. Okay, now this V0 is given as now the current entering here is I therefore V0 is equal to minus 6I. Okay. Now I am applying V0 here in this equation that is equal to minus 12 plus 4i plus 2 into minus 6i minus 4 plus 6i is equal to 0. Okay, minus 12 plus 4i minus 12i minus 4 plus 6i is equal to 0. Okay, minus 12 plus 4 is minus 8i plus xi is equal to 16 okay minus 2i is equal to 16 and i is coming out to be minus 8 ampere here okay if i is coming out to be minus 8 ampere therefore v0 will be minus 6 into minus 8 which is equal to 48 volt is the correct answer and we have to calculate v0 and i and i is minus 8 ampere v0 is 48 volt therefore question number 2 is complete question number 3 that is based upon KCL. Okay. Find the current I0 and voltage V0 in the circuit uh, circuit shown below. Now see, yeah, from here 0.5 I0 is flowing here. Okay. 0.5 I0 and is equal to I0 is going in the same direction as I0. But this 3 ampere is coming in the opposite direction. Therefore, I am subtracting the 3 from here. Now, uh, now I can calculate I0 from here. Okay, 0.5 I0 minus I0 is equal to 3 is equal to minus 0.5 I0 is equal to minus 3. This is minus 3. Okay, I0 is equal to minus 3 upon 0.5 minus minus got cancelled into 10. This will be equal to 6. I0 is equal to 6 ampere is the correct answer. Okay, question number 4 the last question based upon KCL. Also, the, also you can solve this question by applying nodal. Uh, suppose, how we can calculate this question? We can also, uh, V1 is equal to, I can write V1 is equal to 8I1, okay. V2 is equal to 3I2 and V3 is equal to 3I, 6I3, okay. And you have to find this. Now, if we are seeing at this node, this I2 is leaving and this I1 is en entering and I3 is also leaving. Okay. So, I am writing the KCL equation here. So, let's see the KCL equation. That is, I am taking here this node as V, V2. Okay. V2 minus 30 upon 8. This is I1. Plus 
v2 upon 3 is i2 plus v2 upon 6 is i3 which is equal to 0. From here I am taking LCM. LCM is LCM will be 24. 8 is 24. 3v2 minus 90 plus 8v2 plus 6 6 for the 24. 4v2 is equal to 0. Now 8 plus 4 12. 12 plus 3 is 15v2 is equal to 90. Okay. V2 will come out to be 6 volt. V2 is coming out to be 6 volt. Now I2 will be I2 will be V2 upon 3 that is equal to 6 upon 3 which is equal to 2 ampere. I2 is the 2 ampere current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor. Okay. I1 will be 30 because the current flowing is in this, this direction. Therefore, 30 minus V2 upon 8 30 minus V2 is V2 we have calculated at 6 30 minus 6 upon 8 that is 24 upon 8 which is equal to 3. I1 is coming as 3 ampere. Okay. Now we have to calculate I3. I3 is equal to V2 upon 6. Okay. V2 is 6. 6 upon 6 which is equal to 1. Therefore I1 is coming as 3 ampere. I2 is coming as 2 ampere. And I3 is coming as 1 ampere. This is how we can find the currents flowing into the circuit. Now we have to find the voltages that is V1 is equal to 8I1, V2 is equal to V2 is equal to 3I2, V2 is equal to 3I2 and 3I2 and V3 is equal to 6I3. Okay. And we have calculated the current I1, I2 and I3. Okay. I1 is I1 is 2, I2 is, I1 is 3, I2 is 2 and I3 is 1. Okay. 3, 2, 1. 3, 3, 2, 1. Now voltage will be V1 is equal to 8 into 3 that is equal to 24 volt. V2 is equal to 3 into I2 that is 3 into 2, 6. 6 volt and V3 is equal to 6 into 1 that is equal to 6 volt V1, V2, V3. This, this is how we can calculate our voltages as well as current by applying KCL in the given circuit. This is how we can apply KVL and KCL in the circuits given below and this is the concept related to KCL and KVL and from this you can solve each and every question based upon this. Okay, if you have any doubt, please ask me in the telegram group and please, please, please subscribe to the channel for further updates and share the videos with your friends too. Okay, all the very best.